I hope you guys are ready for the most polished, battle ready, proficient killing machine iteration of Denji we've had yet, because chapter 94's Royal Rumble of Chainsaw Man vs Makama and the Seven Hybrids did not go the way I expected, until it did. Now last week Makima had asked why Chainsaw Man had reverted back into his more pitiful form of a semi-human Denji instead of his full devil form. Which is as you'd think looking at his now stupid chainsaw head and casual work attire combo. But it ain't the case. Look at his armoured mechanised chainsaw hands. He didn't have that when he was in his hybrid form fighting against the gun devil in chapter 79. This is an upgraded Denji Chainsaw Man hybrid with the strength of his berserk devil mode while retaining his humanity. And most importantly, he's a class above the other scrub hybrids that stand before him. Let's get into the chapter. This week opens up with panels setting the scene. We've got Chainsaw Man, a team of one versus the Public Safety Bureau officers, the Zombie Devil, debuted all the way back in chapter one, now under Makima's control and raising an army from the nearby graves. Then we've got the Big Hitters, the Katana Hybrid, the Bomb Hybrid, the Bow and Arrow Hybrid, the Broadsword Hybrid, the Whip Hybrid, the Spear Hybrid, and the Flamethrower Hybrid. Hybrid. Oh, and not to forget Makima herself. Denji launches the first attack and it's nothing quite like what we've seen from him before. Taking Beam's advice, just like how we saw him reflect on Beam last chapter, he gets a little creative with his chains as he rips the ground from beneath the cannon fodder zombie army and channels his inner Spider-Man by using said chains to launch the chunk of land straight towards Makima and the hybrids. Makima says cut and within an instant the katana and broadsword hybrids leap and clear the incoming attack, slicing through the rocky landmass hurting at them. And no, Denji isn't making the switch to be a ranged fighter flinging boulders, instead this is purely a distraction. As through the flying rubble and debris, Denji descends on his prey at breakneck speeds, one-shotting the two bladed devils. Remember the whole arc where Katana Devil gave Denji so much trouble? Not anymore son, he gets 100 to 0 in one slice. Though Denji isn't the only one capable of capitalising on distractions, as Makima uses the Spear Devil to flank Chainsaw Man before the Katana Devil and Broadsword hybrids even hit the ground, Denji is speared through the chest. And you'd think that this would slow him down, but in fact he has a moment of clarity and hyper focus for his next move, as he notices the Whip and Bomb hybrids are blasting towards him, though unfortunately while he is still skewered. But he's got the movement perfected, and as soon as they're in range, Denji manifests a chainsaw blade from his left leg. And together with his two arms, he makes a freeway coordinated strike, downing the bomb, whip, and spear in one single attack. Again, the cowardly, dastardly Makima layers on attacks as soon as Denji goes on the offensive, and Denji again takes unavoidable damage, this time from the bow and arrow devil, a blast through his abdomen. Seemingly at this point, Chainsaw Man could take on any one of the hybrids one on one easily, and likely one on three in a fair fight, but the numbers are stacked against him, and in the vein of numbers, I'm talking cannon fodder too, as next we see the zombies pile onto Denji. Mostly ineffective as an attacking force, but highly effective as a kindling material to get the fire going. As it's at this point, the flamethrower hybrid steps in and suddenly the dog pile on Chainsaw Man is up in flames. But then he does the thing, foreshadowed all the way back when Beam was telling Denji Lord Chainsaw used his powers to zoom around. It finally happens present day, as Chainsaw's man chains pierce through the flames, wrap around nearby grave crosses and he catapults himself directly in a trajectory towards Magma. Of course, casually splitting the flamethrower hybrid's head in two down the middle as he passes. Lad. However, the last line of defense, Quangshi the Bow and Arrow Devil, covers Makima, and this is easily the best panel of the page. You've got a dead but still standing flamethrower devil, you've got Makima taken aback by the suddenness of the attack, you've got Bow and Arrow Hybrid blocking Denji's assault so close to Makima she looks like a stand, and of course you've got Denji's blaze of glory, propelled forwards in high speed, full on attack, all the while still on fire. Also, Makima looking kind of thick here, damn Fuji. Then without a moment to breathe, another decisive panel as Bow and Arrow Hybrid and Chainsaw Man trade blows. Decapitating Quangji and Denji receives three bolts from the crossbow through his chest. The injuries have piled up and it looks like that last one was a bit much as Denji isn't getting up. Now it's near the end of the chapter and it wouldn't be quite the same without an unexpected turn of events, and this week's flavour is Makima shooting her finger gun through her own hand and using her blood to revive Denji. Excuse me, what? 
Perhaps she's saying she's so much stronger than Chainsword that she didn't need the hybrids and she can easily dispatch him by her own hands. Or maybe she's regenerating him to try and perfectly control him this time, who knows, eh? Another week, another what the f- but as always, Chainsaw Man is an absolute beast of a series and probably the best thing coming out of Shonen Jump right now. Tune in next week for another spoiler cast and I'll catch you there. This was Anime Fried Chicken. Bye!